One week later, after countless hours of preparation, Justinian and Theodora's wedding day arrived. Dot! 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 Dear we beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended of Saint Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be enterprised, nor taken in hand, Unadvised we, wait we, or wanton we, to satisfy men's carnal lusts and appetites, like brute beasts that have no understanding. But whether went we, discreet we, advised we, sober we, and in the fear of God, do we considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the procreation of children to be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord and to praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained for a remedy against sin and to avoid fornication that such persons as have not the gift of continency might marry and keep themselves undefiled members of Christ's body. Third, we, it was ordained for the mutual society, help and comfort that one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can chew any just cause, why they may not be waffly be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both, as ye will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, why ye may not be waffly joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured, that so many as are coupled together otherwise than God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God. Neither is their matrimony lawful. Justinian, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live, I will. Theodora, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance and the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Now, take each other's hands and recite the vows unto each other. I, Justinian, take thee, Theodora, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward 
for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I give thee my troth. And I, Theodora, take thee, Justinian, to my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and obey, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I give thee my troth. I present to thee a wing. With this ring I thee wed, with my body I thee worship, and with all my worldly goods I thee endow, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. What us pray, eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, and author of everlasting life. Send thy blessing upon me, thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that as Isaac and Rebekah lived faithfully together, so these persons may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof this ring given and received as a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Justinian and Theodora have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and thereto have given and pledged their trust either to other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of a wing, and by joining of hands. I pronounce that they may man and wife together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now greet your brother with a holy kiss, and do not refrain from the use of tongues. And so, as Justinian and Theodora stepped out of the church that day, their future was bright. This ambitious couple would change the course of history, and under their rule, a new age of the Byzantine Empire was dawning. Dot! 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 Oh man, I think I'm gonna cry.